What is up guys? So I haven't done a very good job at recording some of these machines I've been picking up lately. Uh, last week I picked up uh, the Prairie 300 that ran, but the rear end was shot. It was pretty rough too. It's been sitting outside. So it got parted out. Uh, I also, with that, got a Magnum Hilarious. No, it's a Trail Boss 330. They're two wheel drive. But uh, motor was out of it and everything. And then there was a uh, TRX 90 that had been wrecked. So the front of the frame was bent. That one's a pretty good deal. Uh, I got the, all of that for $192. The old man wanted 100 for the Kawasaki. Uh, and when I got there, he had some more. And if you're wondering why it was $192, because $92 was what else I had in my pocket. So I got those, and then there was a, dang, I got another quad, I don't remember, oh, Articat, Articat 400 yesterday for 150 bucks, that was a pretty good deal, I didn't, didn't really want it, I don't like Articats, I don't really like parting them out, so the guy responded to a In Search Of ad that I posted, which were great to find good deals that wouldn't normally be posted on Marketplace, or maybe you spark somebody's interest, because they got to sit in the backyard they're like oh, I guess I could sell that piece of junk so I paid 150 for it uh, it smokes it runs but it smokes I I didn't want to pay more than 150 for it he wanted 500 at first and uh, came back a few days later and said hey you want it I said sure I'll come get it 150 bucks it's got the Suzuki eager engine in it that's why I wanted it that's the only reason it has any value to me that eager engine the head's worth 300 the ecu on the machine's worth like 300 but the rest of the articat parts usually end up being scrap so i know the flywheel on that eagers depending on which uh which flywheel it has it's worth 150 300 but today today we got a deal so i'm headed back i went to check it out the guy uh I met the guy before, he said he had a few things, and uh, it was his buddy that I got that Foreman 500 and those TRX 70s from. So he's been talking about what he had, but he didn't know what he wanted, been trying to meet up, get up, go look at it, so finally made it happen. Right now, I've got the KLX 110 with me. There is a KFX 700 engine, a YZ125 engine. I don't know whether it's a 97 or 2000 because it's got the 4SS cylinder and a 4GJ or whatever it is, 4HJ cylinder. So it's it's got both cylinders for both of them and they're kind of interchangeable. And there's there's more there's just a bunch of engine parts that I'm gonna have to sort through. I got all of that for 300. And then we're gonna go back here in a few minutes after I deal with some other stuff at the shop and get this unloaded, I gotta take the gooseneck. And there is a 03 Big Bear, an 11 Big Bear, a front half of a Kawasaki 650 frame, and then with the differential, which is the main reason why I want that, that diff's like $500 if it's good. And then there is the rest. I got the Suzuki, the 650 engine back here. I went ahead and bought that. And then I gotta buy the uh, the rest of the frame. It's got the diff front diff on it. And then there is a Prairie 300 that's for the most part stripped. Uh, but that's another 250 bucks for all those quads. It's a great deal. So be right back. I'll show you some of these uh, certified shit boxes that are easy money. Easy money. Here it is, crusty KLX 110. These part out pretty good considering those wheels are in good shape. Cases have some value. I mean, the bike's cosmetically, I mean, the plastic's good trashed. Gas tank's good. But here's where all the money's at. Now that's the Polaris Magnum motor. I still haven't unloaded that. This is a KLX 110 these go it's gonna be fun sorting through this i gotta run it through the parts washer 
either goes to the KFX 700 or this Kawasaki 700, or Kawasaki 650. And uh, those parts up there are also Magnum 330 or the Trail Boss 330 I still haven't unloaded. Got some carburetors up there. Easy money with these parts, especially that stuff. That's YZ125, the 9601 YZ125 transmissions had a failure point and he said this had a bad crank so i'm hoping when i sort through and the, that transmission's in good shape that's easy 150 200 bucks i haven't priced those lately but yeah we got lots of good parts and a couple more quads coming all right we got that stuff unloaded out of the truck and uh just want to throw this in there you know i i've had a few people who've watched the channel mention about having issues finding bikes sometimes. Um, sometimes it just gets dry. I already got those YZ125 parts in the parts washer. But sometimes it just gets dry. I picked this up yesterday for 150. It's the Prairie. I got it all ready to go. I'm missing the plug for that up there, but that's just cosmetics. A week and a half ago, shop was empty. Nothing really to do in here. Now here we are. And I'm picking so much stuff up, I can't find the time to list this. This is the TRX-90 that was wrecked. We already started tearing it down, but you can see where that frame's bent right there. They bent it good too. This garbage cat actually runs 150 bucks. I keep riding it in and out of the shop. I'm not gonna fire it up right now because it smokes like crazy and the whole shop smells like burn oil for the rest of the day. But yeah, you know, just, you gotta stay on it. You gotta keep buying. All right, so I got the rest of them picked up. It's a hot day out here, so I don't know that I'll actually unload these today. Let's check them out. These are, uh, they're a little rough, but for what I bought everything for, it's a pretty good deal. So this has the engine sitting in the shop, but that front differential, if it's good, which I'm not counting on, I'm just hoping it is, that front diff's about $500, free shipping, easy money right there. I mean, I'll, I paid $550 for everything, including the other stuff on the beginning of the video, so that's easy. So if you're out looking at Brutes, uh, the 650s, the 360s, the 750s, all those four-wheel drive ones, they have the same diff and they just grenade really easily. So it's easy money. This is a, otherwise the rest of this machine's kind of garbage. Maybe that swing arms got some value. This one here is the 11 Yamaha Big Bear. And I'm hoping that rear diff's good because these rear diffs are rather expensive. I think it's three or 400 bucks these carriers aren't too cheap either i mean even if you've got bad bearings on something like this this these bearings are kind of shot um people still buy those i mean you if you're putting a used hub on there you want to throw some new bearings in to begin with plus we'll get we'll get a little value out of the engine and stuff but for the most part this one's kind of garbage too it's got that front diff I think between the two diffs, that's like 650 bucks or so, roughly. I'm just ballparking. Uh, this this prairie, I think. Oh shit, that stuff painted oil. Uh, this prairie, I think, uh, just the head. It's probably the only thing of real value in that front diff. If it's any good, oh, I take that back. The uh, that front drive shaft's like 150 bucks if it's in good shape. And we're gonna walk around to the other side. There's another front diff. Only the front half, the 650. He said he got it for a spare or something like that. That diff feels to be in decent shape. So we're gonna hope so. That'd be another 500. This one here, it looks like they uh, were gonna pull the motor and change their mind. <laughs> Hoping that head's in decent shape when we get it apart. I bet this had some sort of stator issues. That's why they pulled that cover. But that rear differential, if that's good shape, I think that's two or three hundred on this one. I, I've, it's been a while since I've done a big bear. I really don't like buying them anymore because there's so many Chinese parts that the uh, 
the OEM factory type stuff isn't really bringing much. All right, so there you have it. I mean, some weeks you win, some weeks you lose. Over the last five days, I've spent a little under $900 and bought nine machines. KLX, all these engines, the YZ stuff's already in the parts washer. Arctic Cat, I mean, it's easy money. You just gotta, you just gotta go for it. Uh, and you make the money back just as fast as you can get it torn down and listed. Uh, we're gonna try to get some of this stuff torn down today. I still have some motors over there that need to get taken care of. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.